Turning now to your Money Watch this morning, a banking powerhouse is warning the trade war with China is increasing the chances of a U.S. economic recession. CBS 13's Diane King Ha joins us live from New York with that story and more. Good morning, Diane. Good morning, Jordan and Dina. Well, Goldman Sachs is warning the U.S. China trade war is having a greater impact on the U.S. economy than expected, and it says the risks of a recession are rising. The investment banking giant also announced it no longer expects a trade deal between the world's two largest economies before the 2020 election. Key data being released this week could provide insight into the state of the economy. The consumer price index data for July will be released tomorrow. And July retail sales data is due out Thursday. Walmart's quarterly results are also in focus this week. And a win for some J.P. Morgan Chase customers across the border. The bank is forgiving all outstanding debt on two Visa credit cards issued in Canada. The cards were co-branded ones with Marriott and Amazon. The company says it made a decision to forgive all debt for those cards following its decision to exit the Canadian credit card market. Jordan and Dina. Wow. All right. Thank you so much for all of that, Diane. Also, I know. Yeah. <laughs> There's a lot going right? on there. We yeah. love that. Um, right. Also, Apple <laughs> is putting big bucks on the line if mm -hmm. you can hack the iPhone. So what are the details here? Yep. That's right. The tech giant is putting $1 million on the line to test how secure its operating system is. The bounty will be given to anyone who can hack the core of iOS known as the kernel. Another half a million dollars will be rewarded to the person who could find a network attack requiring no user interaction. The reward is open to all researchers or hackers in training. Anyone who has these skills can do it. Dina and Jordan. Wow. I think there are a bunch of hackers out there or, or ones who think they can. Mm -hmm. Give it a try. Yeah. But a million dollars? I mean, I would just say I wish I had that special set of skills. I'm like, exactly. the control off delete work. <laughs> I mean. Yeah, if we all could figure out a way to do it, it wouldn't be paying a million dollars, that's for sure. All right, exactly. thank you so much, Diane right. King Hall. Have a great rest of your Monday. And we do also want to give you a quick look at last week's closing numbers on Wall Street and still finished in negative territory for the Dow Jones. Just above the 26,000 mark, NASDAQ and S&P also finished in the negative. This morning, Globe Life Inc. is going to be ringing the opening bell in just about 15 minutes.